Hi guys. I know. Wow. Wow. Is all you have to say about it's a hoarder. That was a hoarder situation. If you're new to our channel, this, my name is Yvonne. I do my channel a lot with my husband, Chris, who was actually there with me during the pick. And what a God week moment that we just went, happened to go into do some restock at our booth. And two of the ladies that worked with our children that worked there told us about the sale that they'd already picked. It's not a sale. The guy's just trying to get people one by one because there's not enough room to move around y'all at all. Um, to pick and come in and pick what they want. And we were the seventh grouping coming in. So I am happy to share with you. And I ride in there. I love it. Gloves and all. I couldn't really pick. There wasn't enough lighting and you had to watch because things were piled on top of each other to show you as I was picking. So I just took that whole video. And actually the couple that bought the building, um, they were kind of excited because if I videoed it and shared that, then their daughter who lives out of, out of state, then she could watch the video and see what they had purchased. So let's get okay, to Okay, so where to start, where to start. So if there was 100 frames, there was 101 frames. So I did pick some, y'all. Um, Try to go with some older, some detail. Is that one not gorgeous? Um, and then, oh, so pretty. Now I'm in my garage. We had to set up tables to show. Sorry, you may hear our heater because our garage is not heated that much. And then there is another frame. So I only got three frames, and then I did pick up one window. I actually picked two windows, but... Unfortunately, the panes, it was a 10 pane window actually, or eight pane, I think it was 10. I don't remember right offhand, but unfortunately, two of the panes were cracked and I, I don't want to deal with that. I don't want to take all the panes out and you can't match up the pane of glass. So I just came home with one window. So let's go to this first table. Let's scroll down here for our Rusty crusties. So we got I'm sorry, our garage floor is dirty. It is what it is, guys, because we usually park in here. So this is just a wire basket. I love to put galvanized plants, your terracotta plants, just a place to um, gather things together. And then look at this. I don't even know what this wire, rusty, crusty co cloche, I'm going to call it a cloche, was used for. But I thought it was a cool piece. It is, um, oh, good, my heater turned off. Um, it is broken, but I might be able to do some JB Weld on that. Or, you know what? Does it matter? It's really cute. And then one galvanized bucket. Yeah, yeah. Oh, is that not pretty? They're always pretty. And I guess while I'm on the floor, I did... Chris did find this butter churn. Hold on, let me see if I can turn it. So we did find this butter churn. Three-gallon butter churn. It still had... Um, the wood, the piece. Unfortunately, it was cracked. But I don't have a butter churn in my collection, so I think I'll put a little of the black epoxy Starbond glue on there and call it good and just keep it for myself. What would you have done? Sure. <laughs> I mean, I can't touch these at auctions. I always get outbid. Even with the crack at auctions, I get outbid. So, yeah, I brought that home with me. And there was a ton, a ton of salvage, salvage pieces. I haven't seen so much salvage in so long, so I did pick up these beautiful pieces. What they came off, I don't know, maybe a porch. So while I'm at this end, let's go through the salvage. <laughs> let's go through the salvaged. Oh my gosh, so wood, wood, wood. So they did actually have the pieces of porch that went to them and I actually forgot about it. Um, but loved these. If you just put like a piece of wood on top of this, put a decor, put a cloche, just something to rise it up. Oh my gosh, Instagram ready right there. And then a couple little more pieces of wood. Ah, oh, I just, I just, every time I saw a small one, another little, like a corner corbel, not corbel, what are those called? I can't think of what it's called right now, but these little, the box that I had of these, a lady actually bought. I made her a good deal. Um, and then this little piece, are they not sweet? Sweet as could be. And then this, this little decorative 
accent piece. Okay, I, I tell you, I can't pass up salvage because you don't run across it in our area enough. So then there were these. They were probably off a fence post, but we can make them flat. Chris can definitely cut those right off. It's got some wood rot, so it might be a little shorter or just get it level. Just get it level, y'all. So those are very cool. And there's another little piece. Would you have picked it? Yeah, I, I, you, don't, you don't see salvage pieces very often. Um, and then these corbels, I think painted up will be very neat. They definitely got that 80s vibe with that little pink piece going in. A lot of her stuff, she really wanted to open an antique store, y'all, but she just, I think she loved the stuff too much. It was more fun to buy it. And then these are just simple little spools, a little tiered set. Um, I thought those were sweet. Love running across spools. And then this little homemade candle holder. Okay, it's got some crookedness. We can fix that. A little block to put a votive. Oh, I see a primitive flip, and that was for future. <laughs> and then this one, uh, yeah, tea time. I love it. Love it. Um, I don't know if it was part of a box or somebody made it out of the part of the box, but I loved it. A couple more spools, a couple little bit more salvage pieces with some white crust, crusty, crusty, there's no rusty, just crusty, chippy paint. And then this was probably a little dresser box um, that does work. So we can get that cleaned up. Some Another beautiful spool. I kept finding spools. You know, your eyes attracted to what your eyes attracted to when you're a picker. You just know what you like. And then I thought these were super cute. These little salvaged pieces of whatever. Like I said, whatever. I don't know what they were from. And then we have a couple more little um, spools. And then I did go. She had lots of crafting supplies. So heck yeah. If I could find something that I normally use, I was going to pick them up. A couple more salvaged corbels. These corbels are actually Hobby Lobby clearance corbels. <laughs> and I'm like, okay. And then we got another salvage piece. Would that not be cute? I mean, you could use it as a planner because it has, or you could put a top on there. You know, way, I love that little medallion circle thingy on the, in the middle. And then we had this. Oh, I wish it had its top, but how old do you think that is? It is it is beautiful. Beautiful as is. It doesn't have its top. Oh, well. It's still a beautiful that just needs cleaned up. It all needs cleaned up. So it, the building was empty and had people move, critters moving in. <laughs> so a little, yes, a box, a little oak footstool. Look at that cute little thing. That should sand up really nice, and I could should be able to leave that natural. Now, this is a bread box that is broken, missing its front, but why can't you take just make it into a cubby? Everybody needs extra storage. So I'm, I don't think Chris is going to make like a new face or anything for it. Just leave it as an open place to put stuff. Um, this was just a black masher. Now, I've seen these in wood. I've never seen them in black, so I thought that was neat. Um, I actually was in the need of some of these coat racks. These I had just sold my last one, so little God wink moments. And this was just an old drawer, but it's a nice box to gather stuff. Look at the hardware. So it pulls out like that. Is that not neat? <laughs> they just don't make details like this much anymore. And then it was screwed in. So just clean it up and then put decor in it, you know, like gather your decor so it's easier to dust. And then, let's see, sorry about the shadowing, guys. Um, look at it, it's the world's smallest little tab. <laughs> is that not so cute? So um, there is writing on there. Oh, okay, there you go. You can almost see it. I can't tell you that I necessarily can read it. But that's I've, whether Chris will resell this or keep it, you know, because he does have a bar area. And then here was another tap. A lot of times you'll see like this piece, but this piece, the turn will be missing. And then she did have quite a few wooden bowls, but I have a lot in my hoard to do. So I was trying to pick 
like this little edging. I have always thought that those might be a little bit older or hand turned. You can hear that sound in them. So whether that's, I don't know y'all. So let's go back over to, do you see the horse? Do you see the horse? So do y'all that watch my channel all the time, remember the rocking horse that I had got in that ship Shawana. So I believe this is a piece of it, a piece of one of those type of rocking chairs for little kids. So somebody had actually cut it in half and then it was just that piece. And I, it's super cute. Y'all, it just reminded me of an Instagram post right here. The ones that I love to follow that I'm like, oh, I want that. How did you find that? And then this is just a new um, cast iron cross, love metal crosses. So I don't pass those up. Um, then look at, okay, I got to move to horsey. I got to move to horsey. Two little bitty wagons. <laughs> we have two little bitty wagons um, in our outdoor booth right now, but it's an outdoor booth in the middle of winter. So, you know, <laughs> how, yeah, people aren't shopping too awful much in an outdoor booth right now. But so I thought these would be great to clean up, maybe put some of the weather defense spray so it doesn't keep rusting all the way through. Um, but such cute little sizes. And then I did dig under shells and napkins and linens. And, and then a box I opened up had some of the glass knobs in it. So, okay, okay. And then look at that. Is that not pretty, y'all? And then I don't know if this is out of a refrigerator box, but I thought it still had both pieces to it. So I don't know. I, I'm kind of a hoarder in hoarder myself. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> and then I just thought this little um, advertising was kind of neat. I'm sure when she picked it up, she did too. So then we got a couple little tins. This is a cough drop tin. Um, and then a tobacco tin. I know I have some tin buyers on my eBay store. I don't even know what... So it probably was a lid to something, but I thought that iced tea blend was, I'm a tea drinker, I don't drink pop. Um, coffee, tea, and water, water all day. Um, so I, I was kind of drawn to that, because that would just be a nice little shelf sitter on your coffee bar, your tea bar, see, tea bar. <laughs> and then this was another little t a cocoa tin, it just has the cocoa left, so. Runkles, 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 cocoa? I, I don't know. I've never heard of it. And then here was another little tin. Sometimes when you clean them up, it almost looks green. Um, it might, it definitely, I can feel the ech on it. Um, maybe you guys can see what it says, but I just, I, little tins are cute. And then these were super sweet. I picked this little hook up, and then Chris picked these little hooks up. And actually, this part goes in here and then you can hang the owl on the wall and then you can hang something off of that so those are very neat kind of remind me of that air of the owl trivets so that was that was cool and then I thought this little copper box was cool I hope it cleans up because I'd like to like do the wording of salt it reminds me of one of those salt boxes just the shape of it and then how you could hang it on the wall. So lots of cleaning to do, but that that happens even just with an auction, you know, or a state sale. Sometimes you have to clean stuff up. So that I did, I haven't run, I've never run across one of these little cow, oh my gosh, I always think they are super sweet. I think he's in pretty good shape. I'm sure some of you guys probably remember using the, this. I, I'm drawn to anything animal and farmhouse. Um, then there's this cute little, I think it's it's a glass vase. Um, beautiful. Oh my gosh, it is gorgeous. It's little. It's little. Um, I like that hand, the hand of it all. But it's super heavy. It's well made. And I cannot believe it's not signed. Um, but you can tell that it's been fired and pulled because you can see that on the bottom of it. But it's a beautiful, I'll probably pop this on eBay. 
Um, beautiful. So yeah, look at some, look for some of this on eBay, y'all. And I have actually never picked up a pie bird. This is my first pie bird ever, y'all. <laughs> so yeah, so if you don't know what a pie bird is, you stick this in the middle of your pie, and then it has the hole in the mouth, and then the steam comes out, so then um, your pie is not soggy. And then look at this cute little bucket. Just clean this little guy up. Just clean him up. He still had his lid. I can't believe it. If this is a little, like, lunch pail, what would you would Laura Ingalls carry her lunch in this, or is it too small? <laughs> I don't know, y'all. Some, sometimes I'm just guessing what things are. And then they got another little tin. There was another one, but the lid didn't fit on it, and I think they these need their lids. I don't. They don't need need their lids, but. And then I did find two syrup containers with the fun little aged metal on the top, just in that clear. And then, you know, I have a collection of this color of blue on one of my shelves, so this is a size I don't have. So I thought that was neat. It is, it is a fire sauce. Hold on. Work, works, work, Worcestershire, oh, Worcestershire, Worcestershire sauce. How do y'all say that, Worcester? You know I struggle with words, y'all. Worcestershire sauce. Um, and then we got, this was just a enamelware, but it was a pan, and then the handle was broken off too. But if you saw my Christmas decor video, I actually used a red, um, red enamelware pot that had the handle to put one of my Christmas trees in. And I had to deal with the handle on the shelf. So this, I kind of like that. And then two, four pieces of glowy glass. This, um, this one does have a chip. Um, that's a bummer. I don't think either of us noticed that. Um, and then this is another piece of glowy glass salt and pepper shaker with the lid. And maybe if we pick again, we might find another one. I found one of these. Chris found the other one of these shakers and this. They are glowy. I don't think my glow is here, but they do glow. And then I did pick up this box because it reminds me of the box that I picked up in Chipchuana. And then I actually used it in my house and I love it as cubby to put my decor in. Um, so yeah, I mean, they don't necessarily have to be papers. You can definitely put your ironstone pieces in there, some of your plates. You can have them sideways, just your little trinkets. Way too cute. And we, I did pick up this amber bottle. We had just been at that, the auction the day before the my haul from last week. And amber bottles were selling outrageously crazy. I'm like, what's up with the amber bottles? You know, I, I am now to the fact that I don't, take what people are buying buying at auctions for a grain of salt because I can't figure out what they're, what they're buying. And I did find some ironstone, y'all. So this little sugar did not have a lid. And, you know, I collect this. So that's okay. I can put some berries, some pit berries in there. And then here's a teapot. It does got some chippage. Um, ironstone as well. Old... Regular, I don't know what that says, but I was super excited for some ironstone. Though I, though I don't know, how, I somehow I keep making room. And then this was an ironstone bowl. So you all ask, how do I know it's ironstone? Well, I go. There's lots of it that look ironstone, and it may be ironstone, but what I collect, it actually usually says ironstone. Not that I didn't collect the ones that didn't at first, but it's, it's the fun of changing up. And then I don't know if these are sw swanee pigs or not. Um, so I did pick these cute little guys up, a little creamer. Oh, so gross inside. Um, <laughs> but, you know, nothing like a little bleach water. <laughs> we'll get those all cleaned up. So I thought those were too sweet. Um, these are some, look at, there's got some old dominoes. Just some old dominoes, which look cool in a jar, or just the old packaging in itself. Um, these were in this box with these bingo sheets. So there were some old bingo sheets. Um, I have never found any for myself to resell, so that was fun. And then these are just those viewfinder sheets. So 
There's just a couple. I'll probably hoard on to them if I ever run across any more. Um, she was a, or she had lots of craft stuff. So this was a magnolia wreath. I've actually um, used these before. This this the same exact one, probably from Hobby Lobby, or I thrifted it. You know, I thrifted it. I tried not not to pay full price. And then look at this. I. It's funny. Chris doesn't like the beat up of this pulley. Or the chippy, I love the chippy paint. I love the chippy white paint. And I love the wood that, I love that the wood's beat up. So this to me is just a gorgeous look at how it sits. Look at how that sits. How cute is that? Chippy white, do I have a spot? Do I have a spot? Probably maybe clip that off so it's not in the way, but. And then, oh, I'm like, yeah, I'll take a spool of leather. <laughs> sure. And then I grabbed this leather belt. We're going to call it a belt because you never know when you need a piece of leather, right? Not many tools, but Chris did, we did find this one for Chris. And an oil can, a red tall oil can. I was on the fence about this, making this one over, you know, I don't know, sometimes... You didn't see a lot of the newer stuff like that, so I, I did grab that. I grabbed this bed spring. That's always a cra good craft project. Um, Chris found this bottle opener Holland brand beer, so that's neat. He'll probably resell that. Cute little star bird house, just in great shape. I did pick up some primitive flags oh let me focus here primitive flags so they had quite the pile and it was hard to get to and then this cute little box that just needs cleaned up and some wax to bring it back to life and then now you'll see all the glass frogs <laughs> hello hello glass frogs a couple metal ones a black one an amber i don't know if i've ever run across an amber glass one but lots of the glass which are fun to put your scissors in your knitting needles um, you can put wire in them and have pin, or wire in them and have photos coming out of them. Um, you have to get creative. You can put marbles. There's just so many options. Or you can use them as what they're made for and then put them in something and have them hold your flowers up. <laughs> That's what they were made for. But oh, look at the satin one. That's cool. That's way cool. So we'll, we'll be getting those cleaned up. So now we have two more tables, so I'm going to switch over. I'm sorry that this is a long haul, but it's some good stuff. So yeah. now we're over to some of the newer purchase goods that she had. Um, so yeah, there was just a couple little, you know, your dish towels. So I picked those up. And then look at those little, she loved sheep. So these are actually some Boyd Bear sheep. I don't know if I've ever seen Boyd Bear sheep. So I will get these all spruced up, cleaned up, back to life. These little cuties, oh my gosh. I'm sure that they'll clean up well. And then I thought these little pillows were too cute. Yet again, I can get these cleaned up. Everything I bought, I know I can clean up. So there's a couple more little sheet pillows. This little fun crow. Oh my, hello crow, hello primitive crow. Oh, he's still got his price tag on him. Um, I think I, that I don't know if I meant to grab this one or not, or if it just went in, fell into, because he's broken and not usually what I would pick, but he might have just fell into one of my totes. So then we got a couple. This is a ram. I thought he is way cool. He's metal. He definitely has that nice primitive vibe. And some a lot more sheep. She had sheep all over the place. So we'll see what I can do with those. And then a little kitty cat. Kitty cat, I thought that was too sweet, and then just a set of little, little sheep, little sheep, which I think that those little sheep might go with the big sheep. That might be that might be the mama sheep, and then these might be the baby sheep, y'all. Or they could, they could be. I'm not sure if they're exact match, but and then I thought this guy was super sweet. He needs a beak. I think I can make one of those. He's just a little primitive chicken. Um, and a little heart. Perfect Valentine's is coming up. I didn't even know what these were. They're just little primitive coins. Oh, magnets. They look like they're magnets. Nope. No, they have they have Velcro on them. I, I don't know. I just, I, I caught the, they caught my eye and I thought, you know, I know I will be able to create 
something out of it. Look at the sheep. Look at you, fat. And then we got a crow and a star. Okay, let's dump them out. Let's dump them out and see what's in here. Okay, let's try to dump them out. Oh, there's a snowman. Snowman, crow, pumpkin. Maybe it was like for a, um, a calendar, like a fabric calendar. And then these were sweet. Even though they're resin, they're, you know, the lamb. There's something about the lamb, y'all, you know biblical but i thought those were so sweet and they're in perfect condition along with i'm not usually a heart person but the lamb one the lamb won it over um it looks like he had some paint spilled but i probably can get that off that's just what we do i thought he was super sweet he'd be a great little lamb for um valentine's day and then look at this guy <laughs> He's goofy. <laughs> He's goofy. He's a little bobbly head. He's funny. He's got a cute little tail, cute little feet. So he's just a cute, cute lamb. And then I love this little cash register. Look at that. I would love just to find the cash register's numbers and put them in some of my pictures, but I'm not going to take this apart to do that. But I thought that was a sweet little piece. And then we have some vintage old carolers. Even though we're not in the season right now, these guys are beautiful. I think they're missing, the ones in the back might be missing their um, music papers, like the ones in the front. But I've seen the guy in the red a lot, but I can't say that I've seen the others very much. And when I usually see, they're, they're in somebody else's hand. <laughs> so, so I'm like, okay, I will grab them for myself. And then I did, we did get some Crocs. Look at this. I said she liked lambs. So that's some of that BB Vermont pottery. And so it's a, a, a lamb. Um, 1985. Chris found me my color of Croc. Wasn't that nice? So, yep. It, um, there is a crack. It does have a crack somewhere in here. Somewhere. Yeah, right there. There's the crack. But since it's for myself, oh, it looks like it might go all the way down. Uh, it's okay. It is what it is. I'm happy to have it in my collection where I don't know where I'm going to put it. <laughs> and then look at these old cookie cutters, you all. Those are just nice aged metal, beautiful, even just hanging on the string cookie cutters. Those are too sweet. And then the, here was a star, older little cookie cutter. And then we've got some of the fun. I don't think they're all here. I think it's missing. So there's just three of those um, teaspoons. And then these are strainers of some sort, but that rusty, galvanizey, um, I thought I didn't pass it up. And then I only saw one dough bowl type crack and this is a brown color but it's in wonderful condition and then this one is a smaller version i love i love that this is how i like them like the, this crack i like them to have the dirty age on it <laughs> so the dirty age and then i did pick up a couple of these because these always come in handy the zinc lids for your ball jars and then this is a set of the yellow stoneware so there's a smaller bowl hold on i get up here and then there's this this bowl um yeah now this one did have a little little chip right there but i will probably put a little bit of that epoxy glue in there just so if somebody does buy it it doesn't crack anymore than it is. Um, I think that would just accent it. I don't want to hide an imperfection that might, but other than that, that's the only little chip it has. And then this one is the bigger size, and I was trying to look around. It, I mean, it's got crazing in it. I didn't see um, superficial crack, maybe. Yeah, it looks like it does have a superficial crack, and it's got that same that must be how it was manufactured with those defects, because I think these are pretty old. Um, so, I don't know. They're still pretty. They're still beautiful, salt-glazed, um, a little salt-glazed yellow. Yellowware is what I think they're called. 
So way, way cool. And then <laughs> the lady loved enamel wear as much as I did. So we got a couple pictures, a couple pictures, a refrigerator box with the lid, a teapot, a coffee pot, a little pot. So, and with the lids, y'all, <laughs> and with the lids, isn't that not crazy? I did pick up this little birdie, um, but unfortunately, I, I don't think I noticed that. I don't think I did that. I think it's been re-glued. So, unfortunately, I did not notice that. So, he'll probably get re-donated. Um, and then I liked, I liked this piece. I think there's a little chip, like, right here. But it's a pottery fro frog. And other than that, and then he's dirty. Um, yeah, he's funny. He's just, it's just a neat piece. So, he's just got his tongue out and getting himself some lunch. <laughs> so, yeah. And I got a couple carrots, um, some green grass, moss, a broom, a huge thing of spool. That's a huge, that's beautiful. Is that not beautiful? Okay, so let's move down to the last table. I'm sorry, this is a long video. We got a couple. Now we picked up this one and the lady saw we had this one, so she put that one in her a lot, though it doesn't have the lid. Yeah, sometimes it's nice for storage. And this one has paint all over it, so we have to see if that one comes off. This is a heavy metal star. This is, I thought this was a neat mid-modern, mid-century modern sifter with that, those flowers on there. Rusty crusty grater, okay, yeah. And then a beautiful cloche, oh, a beautiful cloche. Um, yeah, liked liked that cloche. And then a baking powder. You know, I just bought some of those at the last auction we were at. So that was fun. I didn't bid on the bigger sizes. So I I was happy to see that one. I like that red color. And then a little, oh, look at this little um, bread container, storage container. I got to clean them up. I don't think I can open them up one-handed. And then these are just some risers, some, yeah, they're, they are the start of, Right, I, this one confuses me because it's got the felt on the top. <laughs> uh, there was a reason, but uh, these two just need cleaned up, maybe some new paint. That one, I would probably put another bigger piece of wood on there because you would think that it would go like this way, but yeah, it doesn't. It goes this way. So that's okay. It's, I like project pieces. That's what keeps me going. So now we have a candle mold now you can see that's got some brokenness in it, but I know a lot of times people do use these, but then they also use these in decor too. So um, yeah, I didn't notice at the time I picked that, but I, I still think it's worth the pick. And then I thought, oh my gosh, look at this scoop. Oh, I can't wait to make that over and do a primitive decor for you all. A little rusty crusty measuring cup, measure, measure. Measure cup. I don't. What does that say? And then we got another little sifter that's rusty, crusty. A little red scale. It was missing all its weights, and then this one was with it. So, but I think the red one is the one that goes with it. I'm sorry, my water bottle. A little wheel. I needed a wheel at Christmas time for a thing I was do a craft I was doing. So I'm like, hey, I might craft and have one for next year. This is a new aged cast iron piece, birdie, perfect shape. Look at this beautiful bunt pan, cake pan with all that yummy age. And then yes, I picked all the blocks. I need to sell y'all some blocks. <laughs> then we got a galvanized lantern. Um, I've got some more flags that I picked up, some bigger flags. I love flags. I'm going to get them while I can. They kind of slow, start selling right now, but I'm sure as the year goes on, they will. They will. Um, then a black handled, nice big, but it has been burnt, but a lot of times people use these for decor. So a black handled rolling pin, a green handled cheese cutter. I guess you could do your vegetables, but it's that fun green handled. A whole bunch of scoops. I thought this one was a unique shape. So these these are those butter, butter scoops. So I love old pieces of wood. And did I need more of these mashers? Sure, sure I did. <laughs> oh my gosh, y'all. <laughs> sure I did. 
And then we got another little trinket box with some wire back here. I thought that was sweet. Imagine that. We're going to finish up with another galvanized lamb. I thought he was sweet. And then Chris found a Coca-Cola um, box. So, yeah, that is it for the haul. Oh, yes, that was a ton of stuff. And it's funny because we went to an auction the day before, and then we were able to go do that pick. And the nice thing about the pick is you picked what you wanted. You, I, There was a couple things I did want, um, but he's a smart man because he said, you know, I want to see what you pick because I might want to keep it myself. So totally fair. I was happy just to get a chance to go in and do the pick. So, oh, wow, that was a lot of stuff. And if we did our addition right on a low ball estimate, we should three times our money. We spent the four seventy five. dollars We're actually going back and getting a couple furniture pieces. There's one that we're still on the fence and another one if somebody else doesn't get, I might want. But eh, you, you, you never know. And then if you're there, you might and people uncover more stuff. <laughs> it's layers. There's lots of layers. Um, uh, yeah, we'll see if we pick again. So thank you for so much for watching today's video. Let me know. Have I scared you off from picking? Are you a trooper? Would you dig in right there with me and Chris or Chris and I? <laughs> yes, or is this something that you have done yourself? So thank you again for watching today's video. And as always, give me a quick comment down below which of the items I found today or multiple items. It's all good. There was a lot, there was a lot that we found were your favorites. And again, thank you for watching today's video, guys. And we will see you next time and you can see what we're up to. Bye.